Hello, it's Thursday, October the 14th, 2010, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar fell against most of the major currencies and reached a 10-month low during the night before reports likely to fuel speculation the Fed will ease policy further to support prices. Crude increased by 1.6%, closing at $83.01 a barrel, and gold increased by 1.8% to close at $1,370.50 an ounce. Today, trade balance is expected at minus 44.50 billion versus minus 42.80 billion previously, and initial jobless claims is, is expected at 449,000 versus 445,000 previously. The euro strengthened against the dollar and reached its higher rate since January after the industrial production result came out 1% better than the expected minus 0.10%. The momentum of the euro dollar is still strongly bullish, and as long as it is above 140, the momentum will continue to be positive. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 139.12 and a high of 140.94. Today, the ECB European Central Bank monthly report is expected. The pound continued to rise against the dollar after the unemployment rate came out better than expected and due to continued dollar weakening. The pound dollar on the daily chart is facing resistance above 160 and the momentum is bullish so long as the pound dollar is higher than 160. Overall, the pound dollar traded at a low of 157.74 and a high of 160. Today, no economic data is expected. The yen strengthened against the dollar and set a fresh 15-year low at 81.20 as the American market continues to weaken. Momentum is still bearish as long as the dollar-yen remains below 81.75. Overall, the dollar-yen traded with a low of 81.20 and a high of 81.80. And no economic data is expected today. The Canadian dollar now rose versus the dollar to reach parity between the pair. This was last reached in April. The momentum of the dollar CAD is still strongly negative for the US dollar. As long as the dollar CAD is below 100.50, a short position is preferred. Today, trade balance is expected at minus 2.10 billion versus minus 2.70 billion prior. That's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.